Day or Friday. And the best chance for rain in the uh, Kern River Valley Friday. And then we have a nice weekend shaping up for uh, Memorial Day. Okay, it looks right. good. Thanks, Miles. Well, you might remember the iconic wooden colossus, but it has now been transformed into the new twisted colossus. Eyewitness News reporter Lexi Hotelling is live at Six Flags Magic Mountain at the reveal of the new ride. Courtney and Kurt, we are at the debut of the new Twisted Colossus. If you see behind me, you can see the entrance to the roller coaster. And again, we had the big reveal today. There was confetti, fireworks, and it was nothing less than spectacular. Take a look. You've seen the iconic roller coaster everywhere, from step-by-step -step in Melrose Place and, of course, National Lampoon Vacation. But the wooden colossus, which opened in 1978, is now a new twisted colossus. It's an incredible ride. So it's, it's a next generation roller coaster. You know, the old wooden coaster um, was a classic and was great, but this is just so much more exciting and has so many more great elements. The roller coaster officially opens on Saturday, and park officials are expecting a big turnout. People are coming from California, out of state, even out of the country to buckle up and experience the thrill of the ride. We got a little sneak peek, and we're first riders of the new Colossus. The ride features an 80-degree drop, a high five, and a zero-g roll, 360-degree twist. Michael Mountain, a Bakersfield local, was another first rider. I thought it was really fun. It's a good, solid family coaster. He says the new Colossus is just what Magic Mountain needs. When they tore down Colossus, that was like one of the biggest family rides here, and that's one thing the park is lacking. But now that they have Twisted Colossus, you can bring the whole family and have fun on it. Spiller agrees and says people of all ages will enjoy it. It'll really draw to everybody. You know, it'll draw to the old who remember Colossus and want to come out and experience it in a new way. And it'll also appeal to the, the younger riders, you know, who really want those thrills. And... Again, the roller coaster isn't officially open into the public until this Saturday, but it's only a little over an hour drive away from Bakersfield, so you're going to have to come out and check it out. Reporting live, Lexi Telling, back to you in the studio. I don't know. Uh, I think I'll leave it to the writers. <laughs> All right, thanks, Lexi.